Wow. Pedal car. Look at that. Awkward. Very generous. Oh. Gold fire. Hi, I'm Adam C and I am absolutely knackered. Oh, I uh, was at an event yesterday and I got completely sunburnt out of the blue, so I thought I'd wear this kind of loud, slightly reddish shirt to distract from the fact that my face, neck, arms and legs are also red. Um, so hopefully that's working. But I'm heading off to the Exbury Gardens Pride and Joy meet, which is a meet that I've never been to before. It's just down the road from Beauty Motor Museum. I can see a Toyota Supra a few cars in front. I don't know if you can just about make that out. So hopefully he's heading where I'm heading and hopefully I can catch up with him. So we are just approaching now. We are slightly late as well. We do have the Supra in front of us and a few classics behind and it is slightly drizzly but luckily humankind are actually waterproof so we won't die in this rain. This is a new venue for me, I don't know what's going to turn up, what kind of cars, it should be an alright turnout. So this is called the Pride and Joy Meet but I'm not in my pride and nor am I in my joy. So here I am parked no, that's, that's not me. So here I am parked up, and, oh no, no. So here I am parked up, and before we look around, I think we're gonna wait for a few more arrivals and see what there is yet to come. Yeah, big gob, there's a Triumph Stag. These originally came with Triumph V8s, but a lot of them swapped Rover V8s into them, so maybe we'll see later what this one's got. And we've got a little Austin A30, and a C55 AMG Estate, they are pretty rare you never really see those there is a chevy sidestep 3100 these obviously came with chevrolet's straight sixes but a lot of people swapped chevy v8s into them and that sounds like what's happened to this one there is a steam train here oh there's a bit of a convoy coming in now we've got this volkswagen beetle which looks to be a van looking at the back of it with the 80s merc behind this i'm not great at naming these but they get a lot of appreciation check that out a beetle hot rod Wow, I love that. Then we have the 300 CE AMG, the Ford Popular E30, and a Mustang as well. And as one Mustang arrives, another one leaves. And what's this I see? Some kind of Chevy pickup with some flappy bits on the planks above the beds. Have they just got married? I need some hay. Well, that's quite the sight. Oh, we've got this blue E46 M3 with a CSL front bumper. Now, CSLs didn't come in blue, so it's probably just got the bumper, but um, that looks really nice. And there's a Mini with a turbo right on the front. You've got to be careful if you're a rabbit, because you're going to get sucked into that one. That looks absolutely wild. That's had a lot done to it. We've got the S-Type behind. But I think because I am a little bit late, I mean, it's half 11, the event started at 11. Most of the cars, if not all of them, are in there. So let's see what there is. But just as we were going to enter the event, I think due to the weather, cars are actually already starting to leave. We've got the V12 Vantage, Sierra RS Cosworth, and an XR4i all leaving the show. Check this out, we've got this 1949 Austin pedal car. This is a genuine Austin, it's been restored as well and is on display with all the other cars. And this is today's Lord timepiece that I'm wearing, who have sponsored this video and you can get it with 10% off using the link in the description below. Oh, cars are doing spirited driving. We've got Ruby the Westfield with the air filters on display, built and not bought. We have a Bel Air Estate and oh, there's a purple Audi R8 and someone's pride and joy is a Tesla calm and sedate. And this Buick in matte black looks really nice with a bit of a sticker showcase on display. It's a one-to-one -one scale Hot Wheels toy. Even more cars are leaving, I think it's due to the weather. I mean, I think as this Austin has started up, it's time to have a quick, and I mean quick, walk around of the cars on display before they all leave. So here is the Supra, it looks pretty original. The wheels have recently been refurbished from what I can tell. Here's my non-pride or joy in its dirty state. There's a Mark 1 Escort over there next to the Mustang and this dune buggy Beetle. Oh, there goes the Fiesta. And here is this Beetle hot rod that we saw coming in with a lot of camber on the rear as well. 
That looks insane. That's probably my favourite car of the day so far. Still rear engine, still its original, well, presumably original Beetle engine next to the AMG Mercedes. And talking of Beetles, just next to the Mustang, this dune buggy Beetle Dakar thing <laughs> has just started up. That looks crazy with the inboard headlights rather than on the arches which have been cut away to reveal the wheels. Look at the camera on the rear. Oh, the exhaust. It's almost a Buzzazuku exhaust. Wow, that's insane. Next to this Corsa Sprint, so it's basically a Nova. I don't know much about these. Look, you can see the camera on the rear of the Beetle. It's um, actually the opposite kind of camera to the Beetle over there, isn't it? And next to the Granada is this Datsun 180B. This is an estate car with some wooden panels on the back. Ah, right, it's a Honda Turbo. And check out the headers, it's insane. We have a Chevy and GMC truck, both V8s next to each other. One in a very, very clean spec. Absolutely spotless with its chromed American racing wheels. Next to a kind of opposite version with pipes just out the side there. We have this Cobra which looks just like mine except with a hardtop, a similar year as well and it has a Chevy V8 as well. We've got the Corvette C3 Stingray with the Corvette etched into the heat proof guards on the exhaust. We've got this Aston Martin DBR1 replica and whatever on earth this is, it's, uh, it's got a Ford V8 in the front and then absolutely nothing on the rear. Like, I mean absolutely nothing. That is wild. But after that incredibly quick walk around, cars are leaving, so we're gonna have to wait here at the exit and see what arrives. We have the blue E46. Ah, here we go. The first V8's leaving the show. Hopefully this sounds great. We next have a Triumph TR6 leaving. He's only recently arrived, but I suppose when in a convertible and it's wet, it's good to get home as soon as possible. And we have the GMC V8 fleet side pickup with his uh, Woody hanging from the rear bumper. Something sounds nice. Oh, it's the Cobra. That looks lovely with the hardtop. Should I get a hardtop? I don't know. It's uh, a lot of room to, to keep one in storage, but it looks good. There's an M140i. And that's the beauty of these meets. It's open for anyone's pride and joy, so you get so much variety. V6, got a classic Mini, and I didn't even see that inside. There it goes. Look, there's even a Fiesta SC leaving as well. And someone's pride and joy is an Iveco van. Oh, there's a few people running to capture this one leaving. Ford Escort Mexico, Mark 1. We have a couple of 8 Series BMWs, the OGs, not the modern ones. We've got a SRC Chrysler as well. And a Mach 1 Mustang. That's the first one I've seen of those. There goes the Aston DBR1 replica. Tricycle. Ah, now the next car is the one I, I don't really know what it is. It's probably based on an old Model A or Model T Ford. That's what a lot of hot rodders do. Look at that. It's like a brown plimsoll with a Fiesta ST behind, and another ST behind that. 
Passing by some rambling hikers. We have the Rover Sterling next up. Very smooth. And the Vauxhall VXR, which we did see in the car park earlier. And through the trees, I can see the bright orange colour of the Mark 1 Ford Escort Mexico, the second one of the day. Looks really clean, this one. Where's he going? And as the rain starts to get a bit worse, a few more cars are now rolling out. Ah, I think that is the Mitsubishi Evo. I didn't actually notice that in there, but he's just started up, sounding cool. So the Evo is rolling out, sounding really nice. We've got the Golf R Estate first. All we can hear is this Mitsubishi Evo. Everyone's looking forward to this one. And here is the Honda Turbo Mini leaving the show. Let's listen to this. Something a bit different. I like car shows. Me too! The XR3i has its roof up due to the uh, British weather of the day. Here is the stag with its bulge in the bonnet, suggesting maybe it does have an engine swap. I didn't get to see in the end. Sounds like a V6. Nope, this is the exit. Oh, awkward. Another Citroen. So we have the third Citroen DS of the day. <laughs> Look at those. The inboard wheels almost looking like a three-wheeler from the side. Oh, we have another one of the Chevy trucks leaving. This one is a V8 as well. Let's see, there's an air freshener. Oh, he's giving out an air freshener. That's very generous. Or a sticker. Stickers, I think they're stickers. Very cool, very cool. Moving on to the Aston Martin DB9 Volante, dark blue with the matching roof. We have the Rover 3500s, 3.5 litre Rover V8. This one carbs rather than TBR's fuel injected versions. Now we had the black Evo early. We've got a black Subaru now with the gold wheels, of course. I've been waiting for this one. GVR Chimera 450. This is the later Series 3 with the fared in headlights. I love these. on this channel we certainly do and another v8 it is the corvette stingray c3 corvette with the 5.7 chevy v8 this should sound good side pipes and all and a tow bar huh. and the one that you've probably been waiting for the supra leaving the show MG Midgets driving by, he's probably just on a jolly. And an M3. He's 
blaring out his 90s tunes. And the chap in this car has had this since it was brand new. This Granada has been a one owner car ever since it rolled out the production line. This is a bit of fun. Let's check out the exit. Wow. Oh, there's an old Salika leaving the show. about bikes but I love this one. Oh look he matches his car with his yellow hoodie. This gentleman's pride and joy is a new forest tour bus and he has a few customers on board having a bird's eye view of the new forest. There is a very modified Chrysler Crossfire. He calls it the Goldfire. That's unique. USA on the number plate as well. And here's a subtle rarity, an Alpina departing the show. We have a Toyota Mister 2. Here is one of the rarer cars of the day. I don't know much about these. I wasn't really into this kind of car when they were out, but uh, there we go, the Corsa Sprint. From the Pride and Joy meet, that was pretty much that. As you can see, most of the cars have left. There's a few straddlers. I need his number plate, AC, next to the Adam Seamobile here, the 350Z, which is filthy, a bit of a disgrace to have brought along. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Go follow me on Instagram for all the updates of where I am and all the meets that I go to as an Audi R8 starts up behind me. But for now, thanks for watching.